combat this powerful of a lane. But it's going to be something like that. Well, it makes the most sense that Nisha would be playing this because Mikke only has one professional game on Lone Druid. It's off the overwhelming odds, trying to take out Insania, but he's the one surrounded and he's the one oh. that will be eventually brought down. Pops a fairy fire, it, but the first blood will still go to Insania in the end. It's all good. It's all oh. good. Kazoo, vacuum vacuum, okay. vacuum into the impale. Ollie hexed and brought down by Zai. TP here to go against Makoto. Yeah, we'll get the impale. Rune is secure from Makoto. Wow. Will it cost him his life, though? Insania. One impetus does not miss. Down goes Makoto. That is a huge kill for Liquid. And for Nisha in that mid lane is Q getting slowed down. Multi shot is there from Mickey to finish him off. And now Jabs. Careful. He's surrounded by two. Heroes from Liquid along with a Centaur that cannot be underestimated. Make it solve it. Jabs attempting to TP out. Do they have the damage? Oh, very close call. Will get out. That would have been atrocious. Actually goes to the tier one. Let's take quite a bit of damage. Jabs not in the area to be able to get off the overall on the Boxing there with a beautiful impale onto two. Q is dead. And Jabs likely will be next. Oh, he's going to get linked up by Ollie though, making his transition over through that gate. But it's still too much damage as Mickey will secure another kill. And now the Impale onto Ollie. Things are just falling apart early game here for Talon. And another kill will go the way of Liquid. Double kill for Mickey to get away. And Zai coming in from the backstab situation. Makoto zips to the other side. Ollie's going to connect as well. 23 Savage with an early chrono onto three. Do they have the damage to take outside? Ooh. There's a back wall to follow, though. They do lose their Darkseer. And Talon able to disengage, so Liquid Losing a valuable member, they will likely get the tier one anyway, but not exactly the way that they draw, drew that up. Ah, good, good rotation from 23 and Talon there. You As Insania gets Boxy's caught here. by the storm, but the instant hex from Boxy's there into the impale. Can they get the root? No. Makoto zips away. Now they relocate. It looks like Ollie will have to pay the price. Well, he does have a others. link in jabs, but Boxy is there to counteract it. Impale. And the death for the IO now, which we've talked about this before, but oh, Chronosphere from Relocate. 23 Savage. There's the Mystic Flare. First of the game, I do believe, relocate a bit late. Forced to pop the mana. Box is going to be spotted by Makoto, who doesn't have a whole lot of mana to work with, but will be enough with that Mystic Flare from Q. So, yeah, one gust on to make it could spell Doom, Ooh. but Ollie's there to link him up. Multi shot. Got to get do a decent amount of damage. There's a relocate coming out. So, Makoto will be safe and. This gank not successful from the Talon side. And there's the blink. That is what we've been waiting for for Jabs. And I feel like they have to get good value out of this item. Yep, we've got the blink blade mail. Of course, with the Mystic Flare follow-up. But they still need to be careful about how you jump in. Heroes. Yep, he goes into the pit as well. It's going to speed it up. 23, 23 Savage had his Chronosphere. This is a really important fight. Insane gets spotted first, though, but there's the Gust on the no 23 time Savage time with walk. the wall as well. 23 Savage gets vacuumed in and dies. And just like that, Talon will have to concede the Roche. Now Jabs linked up by Ollie. There. But it's going to be an easy Roche at the end of it all. Nisha will take it. No longer, though. It's a separate entity as Insane is spotted out. Gets off his heel. I think they need Q for this, right? Now there's a TP coming in in the form of Boxy. Mickey's here Silence. as well. Gust onto just the storm. They'll have to look for the Get reload. The impale. Ollie does have his ult available. Uses it a little too late, though. So Makoto just drops casually. The Tormentor in two minutes. That will continue Boom. to mention for no reason. Impale. Gust. Another kill the way of Liquid. They are stomping in game number two. My goodness. They push so fast. You can see the pings coming out on Mickey. That's who they want to try to kill, but the bear is the real problem. There's the big Chronosphere from 23 Savage with the Mystic Flare, but Pipe, it's not going to be enough damage. Crimson Guard comes out now, big back wall onto basically everybody from Talon. The Gust to fall. The There's the duel onto Mickey. Does he have enough damage? Oh! Yes, with the right click from Makoto, who's now completely out of mana, trying to walk it off, but now the bears. Well, it's going to actually completely ignore them. That's what you're supposed to do in the wilderness as well. Ignore the bear. Let it hit the buildings instead. In real life, that's usually trash cans. This time around, <laughs> it's the melee racks, though. Much more important. That's and just like that, Liquid are going to get a full set. I mean, Talon have no more tempo now in, in their spells. So your sight for him in the wilderness. And the tier 3 tower it's is going to drop. 
And now the second set of racks in peril as Talon trying to backstab with two members from behind. But the flank is going to be too late, even if they get several kills. They're flanking They've the creep wave. They've lost two sets of racks. Maybe they're trying to flank their own Tormentor. No. They are just killing the creeps. And now it's Torment time. Liquid looking to steal the most important objective on the map. Who's going to get the Little shard? Bit. It's worthless. Jesus, of all the shards. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> he can get a second creep to end the game. It's not actually that bad. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually okay. Oh, okay, it's just fake. It's hype. just not. <laughs> <laughs> just fake. That's my job. Fake Boxy. hype. Boxy. Ooh. Nice impale into the gust. Oh. Ollie with his ult though. We'll be able to get you. him out. Not in time. It gets canceled. Ollie is dead as well. Oh boy. Ten seconds. Oop. Yes. And now you're dead. Q getting run down by the bear. He gets, oh, there's oh, the phylactery. Low, Will that cool. save his life? Nope. Absolutely not. He's dead. Him out. 23 Savage looking for is. a Sidewinder play with the Chrono, but again, their damage has been lacking. There's initiation from Jeb, the zip in from a on the back line. He's going to get controlled. Do oh, they the have the damage? No, the more damage onto the Legion than anything. He's dead. Buys back instantly, but the Gust on the 23 Savage. He's done as well. No buyback for him. And now the bash onto Makoto. The press of the attack is too late. And that is another death for the mid laner of Talon as their hopes and dreams are crumbling in this game number two. As Liquid look to be taking Mega Creeps with ease. It's 20 to 4 for God's sake. They have they have too much. You've got all the auras, Drow Ranger, Solar Crest. Nisha's just going to town on these buildings. Tier 4's only thing remaining for Talon, along with these other worthless buildings, as GG's come out. Talon eliminated, and Liquid will get a rematch against Team Spirit, but this time it'll be in a best of five grand finals. Wow, Liquid really showing up today. They just want this rematch against Spirit, as this game didn't. There was no chance for Talon at all. I Credit to Fear for picking Lone Druid for yeah. Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Fear. That Lone Druid, my goodness. What a pick. I think that... I would assume it caught them by surprise I, because I so. it dominated. I mean, the early tempo, you've got all the auras coming through. Boxy with some incredible movement in the early game as well. And Talon just didn't really get to fight back in this game. But still, a top three finish for them. Yeah, oh, they, pretty damn impressive. They shouldn't be hanging their heads. They played a terrific tournament. But Liquid, they've been to basically, other than Dream League Season 20, they've been to every grand finals of Tier 1 tournaments this calendar year. It's usually against... It's usually a losing effort against Gaming Gladiators. They don't have to worry about that now. And coming from the lower bracket, they've already faced off against Spirit. I think they're yep. going to have learned a lot from that matchup as well. Well, they're going to say thank you to Talon for beating Gaming out of this tournament. <laughs> yeah. As now they get the Grand Finals against a new matchup. And that is going to be, honestly, this early tempo against Spirit who then can try and fight back. Yeah, this is going to be a sick match.